Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about Perplexity AI and basically we're going to have a look at how good it really is. The idea behind Perplexity is very, very interesting. I think it's incredibly intelligent. Basically, it's similar to ChatGPT, but it's research-based, as in when you write something on ChatGPT, there is quite a high possibility that the fact that it has just written is not true. However, Perplexity is a research-driven version of ChatGPT. And we're going to be testing that in this video. So what I wanted to do was first of all test Perplexity on a topic that I am incredibly familiar with. For example, what are the best soup brands? And I know what my answer to this question would be, but obviously I am slightly uh, biased towards the brands that we sell. There are many soup brands to choose from, but some of the best include Bonobos, Hugo Boss, Burberry, and it gives um, it gives sources for all of the information that it's giving you. So if I click on one of these sources, you can see best suit brands for men. And yeah, basically it'll take the information from there. These brands offer a range of styles, fits and materials to suit different tastes and budgets. So this already is kind of like a pretty good article in itself. I wanted to just quickly check some though. If I search for this exact text, does this actually appear on Google already? Like, or can I use this straight away? Does that make sense? It looks like it's unique content and there, there is actually no mention of this exact sentence anywhere on the internet. Let's just check this all in text. It honestly looks like uh, that there is no mention of this exact phrase. So that's pretty interesting. So it looks like it's chat GPT based. I'm guessing this is powered by ChatGPT, but I haven't actually looked into the back end of it. The pretty cool thing about this is, yeah, you can view sources and it gives you related things at the bottom. So what are the most expensive suit brands? I know the answer to this, but does Perplexity know the answer to this? Some of the most expensive suit brands in the world include Stuart Hughes Diamond Edition Suit, Alexander Omosu Vanquish 2 Bespoke, Kiton, Cesare Attalini, Isaiah. These three are all suit brands that we sell, and yes, I can confirm they are definitely among the most expensive suit brands in the world. So, what happens if we ask ChatGPT the same question? What are the most expensive suit brands in the world? Here are some of the most expensive. Bryoni, Kiton, Canali, Armani, Tom Ford, Brunello Cucinelli, uh, Zenia. I never know how to say that first word. Dunhill. Again, yeah, these are all pretty good answers. But the good thing about this is that we actually have sources. And then what I really, really like is this bit at the bottom, the related thing. This related thing is how you build kind of topical authority within one article. So let's say we were writing an article. What are the best suit brands? We could just basically mention these brands and then we could mention what the most expensive brands are. And then we could say, uh, we could talk about what the difference between a ready to wear and a made to measure suit is. But also all of these are individually very good topics that you could write an article about. So. So far, so good, honestly. For a free tool, this is amazing. However, this is just one use of it. A really, really interesting use case for perplexity is on Amazon. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for this. What are the best self-inflating mattresses? And we're going to search. And it says here, according to the search results, some of the best self-inflating mattresses for camping and backpacking include the Sea to Summit Ultralight SI Pad. However, if you are looking for the best camping mattress in general, you may want to consider such options, other options as the ALPS Mountaineering Vertex, Queen Air Bed, blah, 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 blah. It is important to consider factors such as comfort, ease of use, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What this basically does is it takes out the necessity of you searching this, Let's say you have a camping niche affiliate website, but you actually don't know that much about camping. First of all, you've made a big mistake because you should always do something that you know about. Second of all, this process itself will take a long time. 
you might not even pick a good one, etc., etc. Or you can just use perplexity. And perplexity gives you basically the summarized answers. It gives you links to the products like this, which is just super, super easy. Is this what we were looking for? Sea to summit, ultralight, self-inflating foam, sleeping pad for backpacking and camping. Yes, this is exactly what we were looking for. It has a good rating and this could definitely be at the top of your niche affiliate website article. So a good thing here is let's say we wanted to write about, uh, we want to write what is the best self-inflating mattress, okay? So first of all, you could rewrite this to mention, uh, kind of make it seem like it's coming from you instead of from perplexity. But then you can slowly start to build an article by just taking these results. So this is a good um, paragraph to have inside an article. And then what are the dimensions? That's a very, very good thing to have inside the article, obviously. So they're not explicitly stated in search results. However, it is described as a packable sleeping pad that weighs just over a pound and is semi-rectangular in shape. Not quite what I was asking, but that's fine. What is the weight? What is the R value? I don't even know what that means. What is the R value of the C to Summit Ultralight SI mat? So this is obviously an extremely specific article, but something that's extremely specific will normally rank well on Google, especially if the data that you are providing is accurate. And that's the beautiful thing about perplexity. It's almost like Google without the bullshit, basically. I hope that doesn't get me demonetized. It takes a lot of the guesswork outside. Uh, it takes a lot of the guesswork from SEO. And yeah, you could basically just take this and this is already an article. I wonder if you there's a way to just download this entire thing. It doesn't look like it. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. If you, uh, if you press view detailed here, it will actually expand it again. And this is just very quickly becoming one of my... <laughs> One of my favorite methods for writing an article. The thing you've got to be very careful of is that you're not just stealing other people's content, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just checking if uh, this is exactly um, plagiarized, which it's not, which is good, which is very, very good. This honestly seems like a very good way to start a niche website because I have no idea about camping and I, I am going to be doing this very, very soon. I'm planning on starting a new website and this is how I would do my research for sure. After you've got all of this research, what you could probably do if you wanted is just take all of this information and put it into chat GPT and you, we can just say, um, let's say, Turn this into an article with markdown formatting for titles, lists, block quotes, etc. And then normally at the bottom of this, I would also say something like include these internal links and I would give it the internal links that I wanted to include. Just hit enter and that will then most likely create a decent article. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. This seems really, really strong because it's like getting all the, it, it's like doing all of the research for you without having to do all the boring research parts of SEO. That's gonna be it guys. I really hope this helps. I hope this encourages people to, wow, that's really cool. Look at it. It's literally just, I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.